Hey, how you doing? Coach Booker here. Today we're going to talk about the running start, the lower body, coil, uncoil, throw it all in a big ball of wax for you. Because what I'm seeing right now are too many players releasing the entire backside into the baseball. I do all these uh, hitting analysis videos and what you're seeing is, is players taking the knees, the hips, the hands to the baseball at one time and that's not what you want to do. You want to create a little separation in your swing. You want to stretch your body out a little bit. The term I like to use with my players is a rubber band. Your body's a rubber band. You pull it apart. That's your stretch. You let go of it. It snaps back together. That's what you want to do with your, your body. You want to pull it apart so it snaps back together faster. That's where your, your barrel speed and power are going to come from. So what we're looking at right now is Jason Worth. And I'm going to go through this his lower body. And you guys check out the lower body. As you can see, he's in a coil, coil, coil. His hips are coiled, and then as he swings, he's uncoiling. Watch the back knee. That's the running start. If you want to take a glance at his hands, his hands are still up. He hasn't released his hands, but he started his running start with his, his, his drive from his uh, back foot with his knee. And as you can see there, knees, knees are still driving, hands are still up. All right. And I want you to notice a characteristic you're going to see in a lot of hitters. He's in his coil here, and you can tell a stretch of the pants. This front hip almost seems higher than this back hip. So he's into his coil. And notice the jersey. All right. That's separation. He's creating separation from there to there. If you think about the distance between his hands and his feet, he creates that separation to there. And that's what we talk about, uh, getting the lower body going, keeping your hands back or loading your hands. It's kind of difficult to load your hands while unloading the lower half. And you won't see it in every major league swing, but you're going to see it in a lot of them. And it's basically what you're doing. All right, let's bring up another one. Let's get rid of Worth. Let's see what Pujols does. Let me see if I can make this bigger for you. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. Let's bring back normal size. All right. Let's take a look at pulls. Watch the back knee. Look where his hands are in relation to his knee. As pull starts going forward, he's loading his hands. Now, he's one of the players that unloads the lower half by loading his hands. Watch his back knee begin to swing and watch his hands go up. All right. That's why he's got so much power. So as you can see how deep he is into his leg drive before his hands even initiate their swing. And that's what I'm talking about with a running start or unloading the lower half by loading the uh, hands. Let's look at it again. Watch the back knee. See how far he's into a swing before he releases his hands. That's stretch and separation. In fact, I believe... Yeah, you can see it in his jersey. Well, you see these jerseys start having wrinkles going up towards their hands, that's when you know you're getting some good stretch and separation. All right. Let's go look through it again. And there goes the knee. Then he finally releases his hands to the baseball. Let's see what Lengoria does here. So this is an off-speed pitch because you can notice he's getting into his legs. Okay, he's getting into his legs. So in this one, he actually does release the entire backside. He doesn't have much of a back knee drive that initiates everything, but you can see it get deeper there. But because he's swinging on off, peach, uh, off speed pitch and setting, he doesn't get his, hit the good separation he normally gets. So you can see a little bit there with the knee drive. You see the uh, wrinkle in the jerseys, hands up. Let's see what Maurer's got going on. Maurer. Same thing, unloads the lower half, but he doesn't load the hands. He's not taking his hands away from his lower body or loading his hands as he unloads. He basically keeps his hands where they're at as he unloads the lower half. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's a lot of unloads there. As you can see, knee, be knee drive begins, hands are still up. 
Let's see. And here's a great view when you're watching uh, games on TV. If you got your DVR, because I don't know my DVR goes in slow motion. Watch Ordonius' back knee and watch his hands. You see his, his leg drive already begin. Look, notice where his hands are. Notice how his jersey's got these wrinkles and it's tight. That's the separation you want to see. That's strident separation, and that's getting the running start. I mean, look at that. That's how much, look how much separation he has. You guys see that back leg and see his hands? The front side view, you can always see this. It always makes a good idea to film front side views. So if you're a hitters in a game, maybe go out to center field fence and, and zoom in and see what he's doing with his lower body. Let's look at Utley. See the back knee begin to strive, hands still back. Pop this up, see what it looks like. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. A little blurry. My video software is not working again for some reason. I have to contact the uh, supplier. Watch the back leg. See the knee drive begin right there. Notice where the hands are. He's turning, or not turning, but driving the knee. Hands still back. See how deep his knee is. Notice where the hands are. That's what we're talking about with the running start and getting some separation in your swing. Scott rolling. Same thing. Running start. He doesn't have a big uh, knob to the catcher with his hands. He doesn't load his hands as he unloads. He's basically unloading the lower half and letting the hands come right after. Manny, see what Manny did back in the day? Yeah, Manny's got a pretty good leg drive. He's begun the re running start. Hands are still back up. As you can see right there. I right, pause it briefly to bring up the swing at Bonds. And I'll show you what his hands do when he starts his leg drive. Notice Bonds, watch his leg drive, running start, and watch what his hands are doing. His hands are still moving up. So Bonds is a hitter typical of unloading the lower half by loading his hands. Watch it again. That creates a stride with a separation. Right there. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you can start incorporating this into your swing. You have to start the running start. You have to start the swing from the ground up. It's always going to be that way. It's where all your torque is going to add. Yeah, I'll use the word torque in your body. Your uh, separation, your power, your bat speed is all generated by starting the lower body first. All right. So what we got to get you guys now are some drills so you guys can start working on this. Um, so maybe that will be the next video I pop in here when I get a chance. But about an eight-minute video. hope you guys enjoyed it. Try to make it brief as possible and in-depth as possible and keep it simple. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, thanks for uh, being members at TopLevelHitting.com.